Greetings, unsettled souls, and now that you can hear me. Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I B. Ganji uh, doing political commentary for the Media Speaks. Conservative Daily Post. Uh, might I add the correct views, which is now once again at freaking last on Facebook. I'm going to get to the news in a minute, guys. Skip ahead if you want. I'm just letting people trickle in. But for subscribers that are already with me, hello, Bob. Hello, Mike. Uh, we got great news. We got great news. Ooh, this show pulled itself off of Facebook. Because Facebook would not allow us to use our name on the show. On Facebook. We couldn't use the name the correct views. Well, I took the show off Facebook. And you guys have given us enough hits that we are able to actually use the name The Correct Views on Facebook. And they allowed it. Oh, yeah, friends. Uh, we are back on Facebook with our name, which I demanded that they would freaking do before I'd post any more on there, and we won. You're damn straight we did. You don't need a million hits, because see, they care about every little penny. Most of you don't realize this, but they do. And if you can make them realize that they're not getting some pennies because they're being unfair to libertarians, of which I am, then you can get a lot of stuff done. Guys, I left the dunce cap in the other room, so when I get to that, I'm going to have to go ahead and go downstairs and get it. And you're going to have, like, an empty thing to watch for a minute. But that's okay, because we have a lot of fails today leading up to it. And you're not going to want to miss the dunce cap of the month show, because it's amazing. High def there, low def there. We have an amazing show for you guys today. And I'm going to get into it now, guys. Check this out. Uh, this is from the Smoking Gun, who always managed to make it onto the correct views with the articles they give. Mom urged daughter to beat pregnant girl. Oh, my. This isn't even who won the dunce cap of the uh, month. This is just the people that were running up. I'm going to go ahead and go to screen share for those of you on low def. Uh, those of you on high def, you're able to see this very, very easily because I've got uh, right behind me here, fat cam, the Florida woman, a Florida woman, is facing child abuse charges for encouraging her 14-year-old daughter to fight with a girl who was six months pregnant, police charge. Beat her ass, Selena Troop 34 yelled as her daughter exchanged blows Friday morning with the pregnant minor. There's the genius right there, uh, you guys can see clearly. Investigators allege that Troop, an ex-con herself, knew that her child's opponent was pregnant, but, quote, actively encouraged the fight, of course. Which was recorded by an onlook or a troop. A cop says it did not make any effort to stop or restrain her daughter from fighting during the two to three minute ordeal, which of course was the altercation. Seen above, a troop was arrested on felony child abuse and booked to the Pinellas County Jail. Pinellas, the St. Petersburg resident, was released from custody evening, uh, Friday evening, I should say, after posting a $5,000 bond. God only knows how she got that. Uh, an arrest affidavit does not indicate whether either of the teen combatants were injured in an interview. Troop told TSG that while she did direct her child to beat her ass, the child hit my daughter first. Uh, and that makes it, uh, you know, I, I guess it makes it a little easier. Let's face it. How many times are you going to let a pregnant girl hit you before you punch her in the mouth? I don't know. You decide for yourself, I guess. Troop contended that her daughter was initially jumped on the school bus home and the confrontation continued after the students exited the bus. So maybe the dunce cap is actually going to the pregnant girl and not the girl that jumped. However, suffice to say... 
we certainly have enough dumdies to go around. And that includes the story of the USA Today. Now, I don't know how many of you remember this. Uh, I hope you do. Rosie O'Donnell has been on the wrong side of history through just about all of her professional career. She's most known for playing a slut. We all find sluts attractive. I admit I do, too. It's true. But she's most known for playing a slut. She made her name for herself during the only part that she was ever good at, playing Rizzo in Greece. Now, in real life, she's sort of a gay Rizzo, so I, <laughs> I don't know. She, she might be completely faithful to her lover, so I'm not going to imply that she isn't. But suffice to say that it's not hard for us to imagine her as a slut. How's that? Is it fair? I hope it's fair. In any event, we're going to go ahead to what she did in order to win uh, today's uh, dumb dimension. And again, I'm libertarian, so I don't care whose carpet she's licking, but uh, she has really stepped over more than a few bounds here. She has, well, now I lost the entire link. She has gone ahead and come out in favor of killing the president. Once again, sparks outrage with Trump killing game. Now, see, I don't, I, I want to caution this before I go into it, because a band that I was in called Jaws of Victory, I used to wear a Bill Clinton mask and put myself in an electric chair, and I was electrocuted. I admit to that openly. However, that was theater. Here I am telling you it's theater. If I had been asked about it at the time, I would have said, it's theater. Plain and simple. I'm still waiting for Rosie O'Donnell to say something like that, because I honestly believe that she would like to see the president kill. I'll be dead honest. That's what I think she actually believes. And if she doesn't, then I challenge her to say that she doesn't. Um, and I challenge USA Today to actually let me read the article that I'm trying to read. Um, no, don't go to the article, friends, because if you do, you won't get to read it. It'll just keep sending you to other articles. Actress Rosie O'Donnell certainly knows how to push conservatives' buttons, and now she is drawing their ire by pushing her own button, one that makes President Trump jump off a cliff. The push Trump off a cliff again, O'Donnell tweeted Saturday, uh, from when this was written, of course, is an apparent play on Trump's Make America Great Again. Not very clever. The tweet links to a game in which the player can, as O'Donnell says, make the president drop off a cliff again. Conservative expressed outrage as O'Donnell's weekend tweet came to their attention. Sean Hannity said it was gross and sick. And uh, sadly, violence has become an acceptable form of dissent for liberals these days, according to the young conservatives. Now listen, friends, I don't have a problem with very extreme forms of protest. I am actually a very vulgar, non-PC motherfucker. <laughs> you can say that. I, I paraphrased it. Um, I don't pull punches. I don't care who I offend, and I really don't care who offends me. And people do, every day in the comment line. I let them get to me. I can admit it. I let them get to me, and I come right back online with fury. But that's me being weak. Point is, we live in a country where people are free to speak as they wish. However, when your speech could cause the death of a president then I would argue that I think it becomes a little bit more. I think at that point it becomes a whole lot more, and it becomes something that we all need to worry about, at least uh, for those of us who have a thinking part of our brain. Guys, two more stories till we get to the end. Now, this is the runner-up, Dumdy, and if I would have known how to get a dunce cap to this idiot, uh, I must confess, there's a real good chance that she would have won um, police say mom fires a gun found at mall to see if it was real. Now, 
let us say that we're going through them all and we find a gun. Is there anyone listening to this that is really stupid enough, there probably is, to test the gun to see if it is in fact a real gun? If you are that stupid, uh, please uh, leave a message in the comment line. Word of the day is stupid. If you put the word stupid in my comment line and you let me know what your address is, that to correct views at hotmail.com where you can donate through PayPal, then I will make sure that I send you something free. The word of the day is stupid. Uh, really, because I know calling someone stupid sounds immature, but if you think this is a good idea, then uh, I'm sorry. You're stupid. Police say a boy found a gun in a dressing room at the Atlanta Mall and it fired when the mother, not the kid, mind you, the mother, a mother indeed, pulled the trigger to see if it was real. News outlets report that the mother and her son were inside a dressing room at the Adidas store in Lenox Square on Wednesday when the 10-year-old boy who shouldn't have known better, who should not have known better, found what he thought was a toy gun under a bench. Atlanta police spokesman Stephanie Brown says the mother took the gun from the boy and pulled the trigger to see if it was real. A single shot was fired. No injuries. There was minimal damage to the wall. No charges were filed, and the mother is under investigation. Now, friends, when I promised you the absolute idiots, when I promised you the dumb of the dumb, you may have thought I was kidding, but I wasn't. And that brings us to the dumbdy, the dunce cap winner of the month. Let me go down then to the other room and get the award. One minute. Of the month award. Oh, we got it, friends. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it is. I'm going to go, as I always do, go ahead and uh, give you the facts on what I am sending them. Now, see, normally we can't send dunce caps overseas. However, every once in a while, we can send it to the embassy can't afford to send them overseas. If you donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal, then we can help you. If you don't, then we can't. But however, we have found a way to mail it to the embassy. And uh, that's what we're going to do here for Denmark. Why did Denmark win it? Hug a terrorist. The Hug a Terrorist program aims to stop the spread of extremism in Denmark, according to insider.fox.com. Police in Denmark have set up a controversial new program to stop the spread of radicalization and terrorist attacks. In Arthas, Denmark, a home of King Diamond, uh, the second largest city authorities are using a method referred to by some as the Hug a Terrorist or Hug a Jihadi model of de-ratification. They are trying to change the minds of potential extremists by supporting them and offering them kindness rather than treating them as outcasts and criminals. All right, friends, let me do a real quick impersonation for you. This is my impersonation of Emo Phillips. How many of you know who the cartoonist, uh, the uh, comedian, I should say, is? One day they told me that I should stop trying to be bombed because I know it's my fault that I'm bombed. <laughs> so I decided to hug a terrorist and I gave him a great big hug and he blew me into the sky and I died. That's my Emo Phillips impersonation. Why? Because you'd have to be an idiot to agree to that. You'd have to be a freaking idiot. That's why. So here is what I am sending to Denmark.
to their embassy to get this to the uh, Arhas Police Department. The Duns Cap of the Month Board. And this Duns Cap of the Month Award goes to the Arhas Police Department, I wrote, for embracing the single dumbest idea ever produced to combat terrorists. Somehow, logic and reason has utterly left the nation, and the police have now joined the folly. Terrorists want to kill, hurt, maim, harm, blow up, radicalize, terrorize, and blast to bits everyone who is not submissive to Sharia law. If you don't know what that is, look it up. They want to rape, kidnap children, acquire arms, make bombs, seek nuclear material, and humiliate non-believers. I wrote that they want to see bloodshed, weeping, mourning, and crying in the streets. They want babies in the West killed before they grow into adulthood. And they want greatly to destroy liberty and freedom, so much so that they are willing to achieve this by any means necessary. The one thing that they do not desire is a hug. For being too stupid to know that, you win the Dunn's Cap of the Month Award! I am sending that to the police department along with this dunce cap. Now, no, it is not cut yet, as you can see, but it will be. Christelle is a little behind, but it's designed, and it's going to get cut, and it's going to get mail, and it's going to be a dunce cap. Here's what it says. Here's dunce, and then we have some cartoons here, and I'm going to read to you what they say. The gentleman throwing a bomb here as his arms are open for a hug. He says, I wrote, that... Oh, I only lit that because I wanted a hug from an infidel. Here is a uh, jihadi dressed in black, and he writes, I came for the hugs. Oh, how nice. And then, of course, we have this evil jihadi here, and he writes, Please, Allah, uh, yes, I desire only a hug. And I am mailing this. It needs cut. I am mailing this dunce cap after it's cut just like this, to the police station in Denmark. Why? Because they've thought of the stupidest idea in all of the history of fighting freaking terrorism, that's why. And if you would like to support me with what I do when I'm not afraid to do this to people that have earned it, then you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. And you can already tell by the fact that I'm not a raging socialist that they didn't go ahead and let me monetize this video. So all of this that you've enjoyed and laughed at has been done for free. I made nothing. Not a damn nickel. Unless you donate to me. Which you can do at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. I'm asking you to do so. I'm flat out asking you to send me money. Yeah, and I'll, here, I'll show... Come on up, my friend. I will go ahead and show receipts on air. I don't have a problem with it. So if you do, do, not, if you do donate to the show, do me a favor and make sure you let me know that it's coming. And I will... Uh, I'll hold the receipts up. I'll tell everybody what I did. Thank you for listening to the show, friends. High def up there, low def there. Good night, friends. God bless. And thank you very much for listening to the correct views. God bless. I'm going to shut you guys off.